In the next three years, India is building 15 mega projects so massive, they'll change everything you know about the country. We're talking about over 20 lakh crore rupees, that's roughly $240 billion, being invested across roads, high-speed trains, airports, and smart cities that will make India unrecognizable by 2028. But here's what nobody's telling you. These aren't just random construction projects. Every single one is a piece of a digital master plan called PM Gaudi Shakti a 100 lakh crore national blueprint connecting 16 ministries in real time. The 15 projects you're about to see, they're the frontline warriors of this plan, with clear 2,028 targets that could push India into the world's top three economies. Each project plays a specific role, building towards something much bigger than anyone realizes. And when you see how they all fit together, it's going to change how you see India forever. So stick around till number one, because that's where the full system gets revealed and the 2028 stakes become crystal clear. Let's start the countdown. Number 15, Prabhadavi Double Decker Flyover, Mumbai. We start with something that sounds simple, a bridge in Mumbai. But this isn't just any bridge. It's a double decker over bridge at Prabhadevi with six lanes on top for vehicles and a pedestrian deck below. Built to handle over 50,000 vehicles every single day, this 600 crore rupee project aims to eliminate one of Mumbai's worst traffic choke points. By 2028, commuters will save 30 to 40 minutes daily on the Dadar Worli corridor, cutting peak hour congestion by nearly 35%. A bridge for 50,000 vehicles is big, but what if a metro could move millions every year? In India's most challenging terrain, coming in at number 14, We've got Jammu Metro Rail Project, a metro in the mountains. India is building a 23-kilometer metro in Jammu and Kashmir, with over 22 stations, making it the northernmost metro in India. And Jammu isn't flat. It's hilly, rocky, and seismically active. Building roads here is hard enough. Building a metro? That's engineering on another level. The price tag, 8,500 crore rupees. As of mid-2025, it's already 50% complete. By 2028, Phase 1 will be fully operational, moving 1.5 lakh passengers daily and connecting Jammu's economic zones to residential hubs, cutting travel time across the city by half. A metro in the mountains is bold, but wait till you see what India's fastest-growing city is getting. At number 13, we're in Surat, the diamond and textile capital of India and it's getting a 40-kilometer driverless metro network, two corridors, 21.6 kilometers north-south and 18.7 kilometers east-west, covering 37 stations and serving more than 7 million people. Here's the kicker. By 2030, Surat's population hits 10 million. This metro is future-proof. Cost, 12,020 crore rupees. Construction is 70% complete. Trial runs began in June 2025. By 2028, both corridors will be live, moving 4.5 lakh passengers daily and directly linking with Ahmedabad Metro, creating Gujarat's first intercity metro corridor. Surat's metro serves 10 million people, but what about a brand new international airport built to handle 30 million? Number 12. Bhogapuram International Airport, Andhra Pradesh. Say hello to Bhogapuram Airport, India's newest Greenfield International Airport near Visakhapatnam. Built on 2,500 acres, Phase 1 handles 6 million passengers per year, expandable to 30 million. It has a 3,500-meter runway, long enough for Boeing 777s and Airbus A380 Ozus. Cost, 4,500 crore rupees, 86% complete as of September 2025. By 2028, the airport will be fully operational decongesting Visakhapatnam and becoming Andhra's cargo powerhouse for pharma and seafood exports, adding 8,000 crore rupees annually to the state economy. One new airport is big, but India's also building an expressway so long, it stitches two states across 710 kilometers. Number 11. Varanasi-Kolkata Expressway The Varanasi-Kolkata Expressway stretches 710 kilometers, linking Uttar Pradesh, Bihar, Jharkhand, and West Bengal. Travel time drops from 15 hours to under 11. Cost, 30,000 crore rupees, 60% complete. Full launch by 2026 to 2027. 
This six-lane corridor, expandable to eight, includes 26 major bridges and bypasses 40-plus towns. By 2028, it will carry 50,000 vehicles daily, cut freight costs by 18%, and open direct trade corridors to Nepal and Bhutan, unlocking 15,000 crore rupees in cross-border commerce. A 710-kilometer expressway is massive, but imagine a high-speed train covering 626 kilometers in under three hours. Number 10. Bengaluru Hyderabad High-Speed Rail India is planning a bullet train between Bengaluru and Hyderabad, 626 kilometers at 350 kilometers per hour, cutting travel from 11 hours to 2.5 hours. Estimated cost, 60,000 crore rupees, using Japanese or Chinese HSR tech. The route includes 10 to 12 stations, Kempagoda Airport, Tumkur, Anantapur, Kurnool. The DPR wraps by 2026. Construction starts 2027. By 2028, Civil Works, Viaducts, Land Acquisition, Depot Foundations will be 40% complete with track laying beginning and first test sections energized, setting the stage for early 2030s operations. This isn't just speed, it's fusing two of India's biggest innovation clusters into one mega economy. High-speed rail is futuristic, but what if India's also building the world's largest renewable energy park? Number nine, 500 gigawatts renewable energy mission. India is going all in on green power. The goal, 500 gigawatts of renewable capacity by 2030, up from 180 gigawatts today. The crown jewel, Kavda Renewable Energy Park in Gujarat, the largest on earth with 30 gigawatts capacity. Add Padla Solar Park, Rajasthan, Pavagata, Karnataka, plus 30 gigawatts offshore wind off Gujarat and Tamil Nadu coasts. Total investment, 25 lakh crore rupees expected to create 1 million direct jobs. By 2028, India will cross 400 gigawatts renewable capacity, supplying 40% of national electricity, cutting 800 million tons of CO2 annually, and establishing energy independence in coal-heavy regions. Renewable energy is the future. But what good is clean power if you can't move goods efficiently? At number eight, we're tackling a silent killer of India's economy, broken logistics. For decades, India's logistics costs have been bleeding money. 14 to 18% of GDP, one of the highest in the world. Compare that to the US at 8% or Germany at 7%. The National Logistics Policy, launched in September 2022, aims to slash that to single digits by 2030. How? Through the Unified Logistics Interface Platform, ULIP a real-time digital backbone connecting 28 government systems across customs, ports, railways, highways, and aviation. Think of it as Google Maps for cargo, tracking every container, every truck, every rail wagon across India in real time. Add 35 multimodal logistics parks linking trucks, trains, ships, and planes seamlessly, and you've got a logistics revolution. By 2028, logistics costs drop to 10 to 11% of GDP, saving businesses 2 lakh crore rupees annually, cutting export delivery times by 30%, and positioning India as a serious alternative to China in global supply chains. But cutting logistics costs only helps if your cities can absorb the growth. Number 7. Smart Cities Mission, 100 Cities. Launched in 2015, the Smart Cities Mission set out to transform 100 cities across 28 states into tech-enabled urban centers. Total investment, 1.64 lakh crore rupees. Funding over 8,000 projects. As of July 2025, 95% are complete. Think smart streetlights, AI traffic management, integrated command centers, IoT waste systems. Cities like Agra, Varanasi, Pune, and Surat have finished everything. By 2028, all 100 cities will have full smart infrastructure live, hosting 15 crore urban residents with 25% better energy efficiency, 30% faster emergency response, and digitized citizen services, the backbone for every other mega project. These smart cities need airports, and India's building the largest in the country. At number six, get ready for Navi Mumbai International Airport, soon to be India's largest. Built on 1,160 hectares of reclaimed land in Ulwi, 
This is India's first greenfield airport in Mumbai metropolitan region in over 90 years. It features two full-length parallel runways, one 3,700 meters, the other 4,000 meters, capable of handling the world's largest aircraft, including the Airbus A380, simultaneously. Ultimate capacity when complete, 90 million passengers per year. Phase 1 cost, 16,700 crore rupees, and it's already 95% complete as of mid-2025. The terminal alone spans 4.4 lakh square meters, equipped with automated baggage systems, biometric boarding, and AI-powered crowd management. But here's the real breakthrough. It's India's first true multimodal cargo hub, with direct connectivity to the Trans Harbor Link, Mumbai Metro Line 12, dedicated freight corridor, and JNPT port. By 2028, Phase 1 will be fully operational handling 20 million passengers annually, generating 25,000 crore rupees in economic activity, creating one lakh jobs, and finally decongesting Mumbai's overcrowded Chhatrapati Shivaji Airport. 90 million passengers is staggering, but airports mean nothing without world-class highways, the Mapur 5. Paratmala Pariyojana Phase 1. Let's talk Paratmala a 34,800-kilometer highway mega-program launched in 2017. Investment, 5.35 lakh crore rupees. It includes economic corridors, border roads, Bangladesh, Myanmar, Bhutan, Nepal, coastal routes, and port connectivity. As of late 2024, 54% complete. Full rollout by 2027 to 2028. By 2028, over 25,000 kilometers will be operational, cutting average highway freight time by 20%, creating 45 crore man days of direct employment, and enabling 50,000 rupees crore in new export corridors. Thousands of kilometers of highways move people, but the real backbone is freight. At number four, the Delhi-Mumbai Expressway, India's longest greenfield expressway, 1,350 kilometers of pure engineering ambition. This isn't just a highway, it's a statement. Eight lanes wide, expandable to 12, cutting straight through Delhi, Haryana, Rajasthan, Gujarat, and Maharashtra. Travel time between India's political and financial capitals slashed from 24 hours to just 12. Imagine leaving Delhi at sunrise and reaching Mumbai by dinner. No traffic lights, no toll delays. The cost? 1 lakh crore rupees, already 98% complete, opening December 2025. It includes Asia's longest wildlife corridor, a 4-kilometer elevated stretch so tigers can cross safely beneath, plus India's longest river crossing at Shambhal, 3.2 kilometers. Designed for 120 kilometers per hour speeds, with EV charging stations and real-time traffic monitoring. By 2028, it will carry 80,000 vehicles daily, save 40% in fuel per trip, cut logistics costs by 18,000 crore rupees annually, and anchor 2 lakh crore rupees in economic zones along the route. Moving people is one thing. Moving containers at scale is the real game changer. Number 3. Dedicated Freight Corridors DFC Eastern and Western India is rewriting rail with two freight-only superhighways. Eastern DFC, 1,504 kilometers, Ludhiana Dankuni. Western DFC, 1,504 kilometers, Dadri Mumbai. These aren't normal trains. Double stack containers at 100 kilometers per hour with 25 ton axle loads. Total cost, 81,459 crore rupees. Eastern DFC, 98% complete, full ops by June 2026. Western DFC, done by December 2026. By 2028, both corridors will handle 50% of India's freight, triple rail cargo capacity to 3,000 million tons, cut freight costs by 20%, and have transit times. The circulatory system of India's industrial body. Moving freight this fast is revolutionary. But imagine moving people at 320 kilometers per hour. Number two, the project everyone's waiting for. Mumbai Ahmedabad, bullet train. India's first bullet train, 508 kilometers. Mumbai to Ahmedabad in two hours, seven minutes. Down from nine hours. Japan's Shinkansen E5 technology, running at 320 kilometers per hour across 12 stations. Total cost, 1.08 lakh crore. 
81% soft loans from Japan. As of July 2024, 194 kilometers of viaducts complete, including a 7-kilometer undersea tunnel under Thane Creek. LNT handles a 24,985 crore rupee contract. By 2028, civil construction will be 85 to 90 percent complete. Track laying finished on 60 percent of alignment. Electric traction systems installed. First train sets delivered, and trial runs beginning with full commercial launch by 2029. This is India's declaration to the world. We're ready. A bullet train is iconic. But all these projects share one hidden architect. Here's the truth behind everything. Number 1. PM Gaudi Shakti Launched October 2021, it's a 100 lakh crore digital platform linking 16 ministries across 1,200 plus data layers. Roads, rails, airports, ports, pipelines, telecom, economic zones. Before Gaudi Shakti, projects were siloed, wasting time, land, and money. Now, every highway knows where the metro will run. Every port is synced with freight corridors. Every airport connects to expressways before ground is broken. It's not a project. It's a national operating system. By 2028, Gati Shakti will deliver. Logistics costs. 14%. 10% of GDP. 2 lakh crore annual savings. Average Delhi-Mumbai freight transit. 7 days, 3 days. Freight modal shift to rail. 27% to 35%, 11 industrial corridors, 32 nodes, 12 smart industrial cities, operational India positioned as a top three global manufacturing hub. Every project on this list exists because of this brain. The expressways feed the freight corridors. The corridors feed the ports. The ports feed the airports. The airports anchor the smart cities. The smart cities run on renewables. And Gaudi Shakti orchestrates it all in real time. India isn't just building 15 mega projects. It's building one connected system under one digital command center. By 2028, you'll see visible transformation. Faster commutes in 100 smart cities. Cargo moving at double the speed for half the cost. Bullet trains and trials. 40% of power from sun and wind. 20 plus lakh crore rupees in economic zones coming alive. From mountain metros to undersea tunnels, from the largest airport to the biggest renewable park, India is rewiring itself through Gati Shakti. 20 lakh crore rupees across 15 frontline projects. 100 lakh crore master plan. One vision, a $5 trillion economy by 2028 to 2030. If this amazed you, hit like, subscribe, and comment Gati Shakti 2028. If you believe India will rise, we'll be back in 2028 to track every single promise. See you at the finish line.